Hi, this is John Anderson and Nicole Spinoza and we're with OYA's Real Estate. Today we're talking about when a bank is not responding to a short sale. Do you think that happens? Um, it does. I mean, if it doesn't happen for you, then you might as well just shut off the video. Um, but in the case that it does, uh, we want to talk about FHA as well as conventional loans in a short sale when a bank is just not being responsive. Um, since Nicole is one of the main negotiators, I hear her all the time and I hear her screaming at these <laughs> banks at times, but she seemed to get it done. So tell us your secret. Okay. Well, I'm sure that if you work with banks, you're going to have your own stories, but I have a ton and I won't tell you all of them to keep you watching this video. Um, but I will tell you with uh, that there's two separate things that I do with FHA as well as conventional. Uh, the first is FHA. Um, FHA, very strict, um, you know, they have their own set of guidelines, so if, you know, anything backed up by the government it takes a little bit longer. Um, Hurry up and wait by the government. Exactly. So, uh, with FHA, what I do is if I'm not getting a response from the negotiator, because these negotiators have a ton of files, and if you are working a short sale, you're, it's most likely that your file is not going to be a priority to the negotiator. Well, it's your job to make it a priority. If you need something done, you get it done. Um, with FHA, what, what a couple of our secrets, what we do is, first of all, we escalate to management. Um, in their emails, they don't go through Equator, they have their own system. You know, with their emails, they have their manager's contact information. Call the manager, leave multiple messages, you know, email the manager, CC the person. You do what you have to do. If you're still not getting a response, then what we do is we take it up with HUD. Um, with FHA, it is backed up with HUD, we open up a ticket. Um, FHA, the HUD then goes to the manager and says, hey, do your job and uh, open up this file. So you make sure that as a short sale agent, you are advocating for your client and if you're not getting a response, you make sure to make it happen. And if you're escalating in a HUD, I got involved in one of those, be prepared for a clerk that really has no clue what you're talking about. And if you call up and say, I've got a short sale that I'm not getting a response on. She's going to look on her screen for short sale, no response. And if nothing's there, she's going to say, I can't help you. Exactly. So you've got to be persistent. And I'm sure if you have done a short sale, you know that. You know that calling customer service, you're going to talk to these people that have no clue what's going on. So it's your job to make sure that you tell them and you let them know. And then for the conventional loans, a different process. Completely different, which is so much fun about short sales. Everything is a completely different process. Every short sale is different. Uh, it definitely is. Um, with Equator, um, now more banks are starting to migrate over to Equator. Um, eventually Chase Well, which we can't wait because Equator is, uh, you can see what's in front of you, you can see the negotiator's contact information and you don't have to keep making those calls. Um, but Equator is a completely different process. Um, through Equator, you, if you've ever used Equator, you know that you can uh, message your negotiator directly, um, as well as uh, with the two tab, you'll see negotiator, manager, processor, and whatever options. Um, what I do is very annoying. Um, if I was that person, I'd probably be really annoyed, but I get them to contact me. You're annoying? <laughs> yes, I can be very annoying. Keep um, getting the resend button. Blow up their email box. I do, because it's, you know, like I said earlier, they have 20, 30 files, you know, if not more and my file is not their priority. But if I have an offer and the buyer is waiting, I'm not going to lose that buyer because some negotiator doesn't want to look at a file. I'm just not going to do it. So through Equator, I blow up their phones. A lot of the times what I'm finding is if I've tried doing that and have not been successful, I go outside of Equator. I'll take their email, I'll write them. You know, you always have to reference the loan number. I'll reference the loan number and I will blow it up throughout there. And a lot of times I get a faster response when it's not in Equator, unfortunately. So sometimes you have to take extreme measures. I mean, you, if it gets you, if it gets the end result where your client is going to closing, do what you gotta do. Yeah, so so yeah, I guess you gotta be choosy about it. You do, because mm. some some negotiators do not respond to that. Some negotiators are very responsive, or they'll tell you straight up, "Hey, listen, you want me to work on your file?" So you really just have to use your judgment. Um, if they're not responding always take it up with the manager first. That's what I would do. Always take it up with them because then you have something to go by. You could say, I've already contacted the manager. They haven't been successful and that's when you raise help. Mm. So those are the tips um, for how to deal with a bank that's not responding. Um, sometimes it's going to take your own creativity, but I guess the overall message that Nicole's come up with is be assertive, maybe aggressive. Have tenacity. Tenacity and nag. Well, with short sales, you know, if you do have any questions and you're coming across a really difficult short sale, then contact us. 